Hey everybody, this is Sharon Pichardo, aka Mago from Arisma Recording Studios, and this is another edition of Audio Recording Techniques. Especially for the home recording people who are out there trying to get a good sounding recording out of their home studios. All right, guys, so let's talk about this particular one today. As always, three things we're going to talk about. The first thing is always doing something right away. The second one is actually putting it in process. And number three is the technical aspects. This time around, we're going to record a vocal, and we want to make sure that we record it at the right level. All right, so let's do it right away. Let's get somebody into the booth. They start recording their voice. If you see, this is the signal. I want to make sure that my level is somewhere around here, okay? It doesn't go over into the red. You want to keep it in the area just like that. If it goes into the red, I stop my recording. I bring down my level, all right? And I want to keep it in an area somewhere around the yellow, not the green, not the red, okay? And just so you understand what I'm talking about with the gain. The gain is where the mic comes into play. I'm raising the volume over here. And I'm lowering the volume over here. The mic is connected into my particular preamp, okay? Now, let's put that in process. What you do when you have an artist inside of the studio, you want to find out what is the loudest piece inside of the recording, all right? Tell them, hey, so let me hear what the loudest part is. And as you hear it, you get you change the gain, all right? You make sure you change the gain depending on how loud their volume is. You don't ever want to go into the red, all right? And again, let me show you what the red is. If it goes into somewhere around here, then that's not a good recording, okay? You wanna keep it down. As soon as they hit the red, you tell them, all right, go through that passage one more time, and you bring down the volume enough so that it's somewhere around here, and it never goes into the red, okay? You don't want it to be really low. I get a lot of artists that actually get signals that are really low just because they don't they don't con they don't don't put into concept the, the, the gain structure, okay? Now, let's talk about the technical terms as per why we do this. Now, if I have a signal that is really low, which I've seen a lot of artists do, for example, right here, if you notice, the volume is really low. The gain is down to the bottom. Then what happens is that we inherently have noise in every recording, all right? The noise is down here somewhere, okay? And if our level is this high, then what happens is that when we raise the volume after the recording is done, guess what happens? The noise goes up with it, all right? And that's a problem. Because now we are listening to so much more noise based on the fact that we recorded the volume of the track really low. So what we want to do is that because the noise is always going to be there, we want to record the level of the song as loud as possible without going into a distorted area. And what happens is that if we have to raise the volume, which we eventually we're going to, we don't have to raise it up too far, right? And if you notice, the noise doesn't have to go up so far compared to when the noise level is really close to the actual signal. All right, guys, that's basically it. We don't ever want to go into the red because that'll become distortion. A lot of people aren't able to be able to fix that. Definitely us at Arisma Recording Studios can fix some of that distortion, but we don't recommend anybody try to record in a distorted area. Guys, subscribe to my videos. There's going to be many more coming through. Hope you guys have a good time. Check it out. Leave me a comment. Peace.